welcome to Roland Studios, where I share my life experiences, knowledge, thoughts, and passions. My name is Roland, and we're going to start another episode of Hobbies, Health, and Happiness. This episode is called Sonic Knowledge, Information at the Speed of Sound. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about audiobooks. So audiobooks are one of my favorite ways to get information into this noggin of mine. So I really love audiobooks. I, um, I read books every once in a while, but reading books really takes me a while. Um, I enjoy reading, but I've noticed over the years that I have kind of lost my uh, attention span and with reading and so I put books down and it takes me a really long time to read text uh, in books and and books are you know you can read them in in physical book format you can read them in uh, in uh, electronic book format which are like ebooks and things like that <clears throat> excuse me but audiobooks are super great I love audiobooks because I can really tear through those every morning I have a commute to work that's about 30 minutes and then 30 minutes home so that's an hour every day that I can listen to an audiobook and it's a really great experience because I can take in a book about fiction you know on and I love science fiction so I listen to a lot of science fiction audiobooks um, but then sometimes I like get really interested in a certain topic, uh, maybe about space, maybe about uh, hum human uh, evolution. I mean, all kinds of different things, all kinds of different topics. And you can definitely learn by listening to books on audio. And the first exposure I had to that was with Audible. And audible.com is by far a very great service I've used it in the past and it's it's worked great I mean you can get you know books on fiction you could get books on nonfiction topics it's super super useful uh, uh, way of, of getting audiobooks into your system but since I became a librarian I want to promote books that you can get for free and audiobooks that you can get for free so definitely Get yourself a library card at your local library and look for audiobooks uh, that are downloadable. A lot of them are digital, where you can download them to your uh, smartphone. You can download them to an iPad or any other type of uh, personal device like that onto your computer. Now with uh, Roku TV and I mean, you know, the uh, Apple TV and um, all these different devices that you could dongles that you could plug into your TV. You can even listen to your audiobooks on your TV. So audiobooks are just fantastic way of getting information, knowledge, and entertainment into your ears, into your mind, and into your soul. So definitely check that out. It's really, really great uh, way of learning, a great way of having uh, entertainment, and a great way of just spending that time that's just kind of like you're waiting at the doctor's office you're waiting at the dentist you're waiting to get your license plate tag and sometimes those things take time but if you have an audiobook on your phone and you have some really good you know, bluetooth speakers hey you'll never be bored with an audiobook so definitely check that out there's definitely different types of uh companies that that offer audiobooks the library I work at works uh, with a company called Overdrive. They also go by uh, their nickname Libby. Um, and so you can download the Libby app off of uh, your Android device onto your Android device or your Apple phone. Um, and, and it's just a, an app that has like, it looks like a little girl holding a book in front of her face and you can see her little hair and bow and stuff like that. That one's really great. I really like that. So your local library might use OverDrive and you can download books from their OverDrive account. Another one that you can look into is uh, Cloud Library. 
Cloud Library is another company that's very similar to Overdrive, and they um, also have audiobooks. They have books in text, so if you want to listen or, or read a book in text format, you can download the book in text format. And uh, but I, I prefer audiobooks because I like to listen to it while I'm driving. Um, sometimes when I'm doing housework, sometimes when I'm mowing the grass, I can listen to my audiobook during those uh, other activities where I'm working or doing other things uh, during the day. So um, definitely check those out. Another one um, that some libraries have is called Tumble Books. This is more for children. So, but Tumble Books is really great also for uh, language learners. So if somebody is not a native English language speaker, they can use Tumble Books, which has uh, animated stories of the book. So they show the picture book in uh, animated form. So they'll, they'll have the, anim the, the, the pictures in a picture book for children and then maybe animate them in a little way and stuff like that. And this is really intended for, for use of children. But I, I find that it's a really great uh, tool for English language learners, somebody who's maybe not a native English speaker, but could use very simple words and sentences. And then they can see the sentence and then they see the action going on. So it helps them understand what's going on in the story. And, and that's really great because, um, uh, and, and even for a child to learn that, you know, the correlation between what's happening in the action of the story and the text that they're, they're seeing, and they may not be really familiar with, you know, words or, you know, letters coming together to form words and then words forming sentences. These are very simple sentences, very simple words that they can learn to, uh, to read and speak English. And then they hear the English words being spoken to them. So then they start saying, oh, okay, that word means this and that word means that. So that's a really great tool for both children and language learn, uh, you know, non-native English language learners who would like to learn English uh, better, maybe for work, maybe for um, interaction with family. I mean, learning a second language is is great thing. You know, even for English language uh, dominant, I, I myself am Hispanic. So I, I do have a culture of Spanish in my background. My parents both spoke Spanish, but not so much while I was growing up because they wanted me to be primarily an English speaker because they knew that in the United States, I needed to speak English in school primarily. So at, in my household, it was primarily English. But I lost some of my Angli uh, my Spanish uh, because of the English that I spoke in the household and at school. So as I became an adult, I had uh, the opposite effect where I really needed to learn more of the Spanish language because I lived in a, in, in a region, excuse me, in a region where Spanish was predominant. And so I needed to be able to speak more Spanish and English in, in my job. So by doing um, a little bit more, language is funny. You, you really need to speak the language. You really need to immerse yourself in the language and, and to be fluent in a second language that's not native to your, your normal language. And my language, you know, my normal was English. I started out with English and Spanish is, is tends to be a, a second language to me, even though I'm a Hispanic on, on both sides. Um, I have to, to speak Spanish to people. I have to be able to read a little bit of Spanish. And I'm, I've come to the realization that reading Spanish is also very helpful in learning the language and being able to be become more fluent in the language. And uh, the more I do so, the more it helps me. But audiobooks can really, really help accelerate that learning process for a language learner. So if you're really interested in, say, say you're predominantly an, an English speaker, which, which I'm assuming because I'm speaking in English to you, right? So if you want to learn Spanish, check out an audiobook that's in the Spanish language and download the ebook of the same book 
that's written in the Spanish text and then try to learn Spanish that way. And this could be for any language. This could be for Russian. It could be for Italian, French. I think listening to the language and then reading the text of that language really gets your brain to kind of really put things together and learn that language better. So I'm going off a little bit of a tangent from my spiel about audiobooks, which is one of my passions because I really love audiobooks. And to just give you an example how much I love audiobooks, last year I listened to about 48 to 50 audiobooks in one year. The year before that, I did about the same amount of audiobooks. And that's just that's just a normal. That's to me, it, it's like a amaze, an amazing feat for me to do that. For me to read a book, to actually get a physical book, open it up and read it, it would have taken me so much longer. I could have probably done maybe 10 books, 12 books in that year where I did almost 50 audiobooks in that same amount of time. It's just an amazing amount of information that I was able to put into my, my head. And both in fiction, in nonfiction, in subjects that I like, subjects that I didn't really care for, but you just never know. When you pick up a book, you just don't know, am I going to like this book? Am I not going to like this book? You never know until you read it. And then sometimes it's like, oh, I really didn't like that book. So you just wasted a month reading that book. Or I would have because it would have taken me that long. Some people read really fast. I'm not a fast reader. I'm a very slow reader. I like to kind of take my time and read through it. But some people read fast and that's great. And, and if you can build up your speed of reading, that's, that's even better. I would highly recommend that. But if you're like me and you find that reading's really a chore, audiobooks are for you, my friend. Audiobooks can give you so much joy, so much knowledge. Even in books that are of fiction, you can just learn so much through audiobook fiction. I, I picked up this, I'm just going to say an example, right? I'm really into um, sci science fiction. I like science stuff about astronomy and I, I'm like, I have a geology background. So I love stuff about earth science and stuff like that. And, but I picked up this one. I said, I'm going to try a totally different genre that I'm usually used to reading. And it was science fiction romance. Weird, right? Science fiction romance. I mean, what, uh, that was just like totally out of my wheelhouse. I, never ever read a book about that i never was interested in that but i did pick that up and i found that it was really interesting i mean it's probably not a book that i or type of genre that i would pick up again but i i read one and i found out that i yeah i maybe didn't like it that much you know it was something that was interesting, like, okay, go on to the next thing. I like historical fiction. I love historical fiction. You know, uh, Leon Uris was one of my favorite authors. I would read his books. And, and when I was in high school, I would read his books. Read! I would actually read the books because I didn't know about audiobooks. I didn't know about audiobooks until I was in college and uh, audible.com started coming out and then I started learning about that. And I, it, it was just um, a new thing for me. You know, I guess, cause that was early nineties, early to mid nineties when I really started getting doubling and more into audiobooks, And it was really great, great experience. Another, uh, form of, of uh, audio, I'm sorry guys, uh, is uh, another company called Hoopla. So I do have a library card, not with only my home library, but I have gotten library cards within my state. 
because in some libraries you don't have to be a resident of the city to um to get a library card from that that particular city's library card you just have to be a resident of the state so check that out some some bigger cities allow you to get a library card from their bigger city library even though you're not a resident of their city but you're a resident within their state so definitely check that out because that's opens your horizons of how many audiobooks you can uh, you can uh, access and, and, and have the privilege of checking out. So definitely check that out. But I have two big cities in my state that I have library cards to. And uh, one of them uses a system called Hoopla. And Hoopla is really great because it does have audiobooks. It has uh, uh, ebooks, which are um, text digital books that you can download. It has videos, so you can see movies and documentaries, and it also has um, uh, streaming music, so you can you can listen to different music and stuff. So Hoopla is an excellent uh, platform um, that you can you can get a lot of different types of entertainment and knowledge from. Uh, my library has OverDrive. It has cloud uh, cloud library. That you can download audiobooks and ebooks from. Um, another uh, source of information is another one called uh, Freegal. So Freegal is more a, of a music streaming service that you can check out at your library. Some libraries carry that brand. And then the, you know, just check with your local library. I'm sure you'll be super surprised of of what type of digital resources they have. Of, of ebooks, audiobooks, streaming music, streaming mu uh, movies. I mean, it's just there's just so much that you can you can learn from. One of the other ones that my library has is a service called Canopy, and this is kind of going a little bit off of the audiobook topic, but Canopy is awesome because it's more of a streaming movie service. It was made primarily for. Uh, uh, academic library so it had a lot of documentaries and stuff for college students which it does and it has a lot of great information it also has some movies some older movies and stuff they recently got a lot of movies from Warner Brothers so they're starting to get a lot of cool just regular movies on their platform but the the thing that I really like about Canopy is they carry a ton of the great courses series of uh, collegiate knowledge uh, information. So what, what I mean by that is the Great Courses has a professor, a college professor, teach you a subject about whatever you want. I, they have like over 120 different subjects that you could think of from mathematics, geology, camping, uh, how to play guitar, how to play a piano, singing. I mean, just across the gamut, history, all kinds of stuff. And you listen to and watch a video for 30 minutes of this professor talking, but you don't just get 30 minutes. He does 24 or she does 24 courses or more on that specific subject. So it's like you went to a college course and learned something through Canopy. And I should save that for another one. I'm going to go ahead and save that for another video. But because this video, I really, really wanted to talk about audiobooks. But I just wanted to kind of give you a little seed of that. So definitely, if you don't have a library card, you're missing out, brother. You're missing out, sister. You're missing out. So definitely go and get yourself a library card. And get yourself some free knowledge, some free entertainment, some free joy, and some free happiness. Because that's what this channel is all about. Is, is about hobbies, health, and happiness. And the library can supply a lot of that for you. And that's pretty much what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope I didn't ramble on too long. I just I'm, I'm really passionate about this subject because I love 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 audiobooks they're they're a great uh, pastime they're a great source of information for me i learned so much through audiobooks i i 
enjoy life through audiobooks. I get to visit other places through audiobooks. I get to understand other cultures through audiobooks. I get to understand life through audiobooks. So I hope you will enjoy audiobooks as well, as much as I do. So check it out if you haven't already. And if you don't have a library card, go get one. It's free. Doesn't cost you but the gas to get to the library and back home. And you'll never regret it. I promise you that. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this uh, short video. I hope you um, gain some knowledge, some of my passions. And let me know what you like. What, it, what is what makes you happy? Do you like audiobooks? Do you listen to audiobooks? Are you just you know, a book reader? Do you not like to read at all? Let me know in the comments below. I, I'd love to learn what you know. And then maybe we can use that on our next topic. So signing off from the Roland Studios. Thank you guys. You have a great life, great health, and great time. Thank you. And goodbye. We'll see you. Bye-bye.